Hi, it's Jessie from Peach Manifesto, and today we are doing a cat eye Christmas looks. So I thought I would use my Egoista cat eye gel polish in 139, and this is green. So I'm just going over a already painted black nail, and um, this is a really nice green. It really deepens up over the black. With this one, you don't necessarily need to use it over a black color, but this is kind of the look I was going for. And so I'm just kind of pushing in... Um, the cat eye effect into the center. I do a matte top coat cure, and this is a uh, one that you have to wipe afterwards. Then I'm going in with a tack free top coat over top, doing like a really simple triangle and um, just to make like a little kind of Christmas tree type of thing. Now, if I was to do this again, I would probably push the cat eye effect a little bit more in the center to make it a little bit more dramatic. But these are the things we learn when we're trying things out. And then once I get the triangle, I just kind of feather out the sides to kind of give it that really nice fluffy pine tree look. And um, then I go ahead and cure that once I'm done fluffing out the edges, I really wanted to make it look a little bit more realistic. Then once it's cured, this is what it looks like. It's pretty cute on its own, but I decided to put on some little Christmas decorations. Um, I just went with a little dotting tool because I wanted this to be very simple. Um, I think that I might have preferred if I would have done it in like um, just some solid colors too. I almost think there's just a little bit too much metallic going on. Um, but like I said, I'm just playing around trying things out. Uh, but it did turn out pretty cute. Um, and I was just kind of using what was on hand, trying to come up with something really, really quick. I'm trying to do as many of these vlogmas, video vlogmas videos as possible. So I hope you're enjoying them. Uh, I'm going to keep them going for as long as I can. Then I'm going on to a fully white painted nail and I'm going to create some baubles. So the paint that I'm using here actually isn't a gel paint. It's the black on by accents so it's basically like a one coat black um, you can use it for chrome that's what i mainly use it for but it does make a really nice um, solid black so if i'm doing stuff like this i don't mind using it um, it's pretty quick and easy it's really thin um, which is what i kind of wanted because i knew i was going to go on top with other stuff and i didn't want any shadowing and i know this doesn't shadow so i really wanted to kind of stagger the ornaments and then once i kind Kind of got a look at them all together i realized that i did want to make them slightly different sizes so i do go in and make the kind of front and center one a little bit bigger just because i thought that was a little bit more aesthetically pleasing i guess and then um, i do go in with um, my cat eyes over top of these black baubles and um, I will show you those in just a second. So we have the hot flame cat eye number 12 which is a red and then we have the 139 again that we used earlier. So I'm just going over top of the little black areas and just filling it in going right up to the edge and then using the magnet to give it the cat eye effect. I really like the way that this turns out. It uh, makes it a little bit more dramatic, gives the balls kind of more of a like a 3D effect, makes them look very circular. So I go and do that to all of them. This two side ones I do in the green and um, <coughs> I cure those after each um, cat eye magnet. Otherwise they kind of lose the effect if you don't do it right away. Then I go in with my Accents Trinity, which is, um, it's a base, build, and a gloss. So that's part of the reason why I used it, because I knew that it would protect the design. It would bond really well to whatever it would is, and it would build up to a nice height. So with the biggest one, I do fill it in. I go right to the edge, and then I add a little bit more in the center to dome it. And then um, once I kind of got it, right right to the edge i realized it kind of had fallen a little bit so i do flip it upside down so that i get that really nice dome effect and it gives that really cute bobbly look 
So then I go in um, with my gel paints. I'm just creating the little kind of silver toppers that you see on the bobbles and um, go ahead and cure that. Then I go in with my black and create the little strings on them and trying to keep the lines nice and thin on, on that. And I will mention that with the Accents gel paints, as long as you do it on a top coated nail, they will last just fine. Um, you don't have to worry about top coating the design afterwards. It's totally fine. Um, so once I finish this, I like to give it a double cure when I paint on top and then um, it totally lasts for the whole time the client um, has it on their nails. And I thought I would go in with a little bow for the one in the center just to give it a little extra drama, I guess, a little extra zhuzh uh, because it's Christmas and I feel like people are always willing to do a little bit extra on their nails just because it's the holidays. And this is the way everything turned out. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and we will see you all later. Bye bye.